Welcome back, back to MBA Today. Today. I'm Keith Smith. And I'm Ana Valdez. You know, Ana, being here at Montverde this year has really made me miss my mom. Yeah, being away really makes you appreciate all the little things mothers do for you. Like having breakfast ready in the morning. Cleaning up our rooms when we're too lazy to get up. Being your 24-7 chauffeur. And always being there when you need someone to talk to. Thank you, Keith. You have officially made me miss my mother. Well, it's perfect timing with Mother's Day right around the corner. It really makes you think about all the lessons your mom has taught you over the years. Like when my mom told me not to eat too much ice cream, and me being the rebel that I am, decided to eat half the cone of ice cream in one bite, and I finally realized after the longest brain freeze that this lady might know some things. I bet you learned your lesson after that one, Keith. Not really. Anyway, we went around Montford to find out some lessons people have learned from their mothers. My mom has taught me to be a nice person and do good in school. My mom has taught me how to be a better person and how to be a better friend to a lot of people and to never give up on anything, either it's like school or athletics. She always motivates me and tells me to always try my best. Um, my mom has taught me how to be a good character, how to be whatever you really want to be. She's encouraged me to do a lot of new things. Like since we're in the theater room, I she told me to go and do what I wanted, and now I've been doing theater ever since because she encouraged me, and she's taught me so much, and she's taught me to be who I am today. My mom has pretty much taught me everything in life. Uh, like, she, she taught me everything, but I think the most important thing she's taught me is to really be strong in situations that, you know, is difficult to come through, and uh, taught me to be an independent woman. Wow, some interesting lessons out there. You're right, Anna. Our moms really deserve a gift of some sort from time to time to show that we really appreciate them. Speaking of gifts, have you gotten your mom anything special for her day? Does my unconditional love count? Of course it counts, but I was talking more about an actual gift. For example, I got her the handbag she always wanted. That's real nice, Anna. I think I might actually get her a box filled with student center cookies. <laughs> think, I think you can get her a better gift. Hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Well, if you don't know what gift to get her, your mom, try to do this do-it-yourself by Nick and Santi. Hello, welcome back to Nick and Santi show. And today we're going to be doing a do-it-your-own Mother's Day gift. So we're going to be making a flower pot that you can give to your mom and have the flowers be your fingers. First, you want to start by cutting a flower pot. And then Nick. we're going to... Um, you get a, another colored paper and you want to trace your hand around it. After you trace your hand, you want to cut it. You finished cutting out your hand? No. All right. So while he's cutting out your hand, I'm going to tell you the next step to do which is you want to tape down the flower pot. So you take some tape. And you want to tape it down, but leave the top over here untaped because you're going to put our hand in there. And that what you should have at the end of it. Yes. And after, after you have that, we're gonna start doing start some designs on it. Yes. But you wanna make sure this is a Mother's Day gift, so you want it from the heart. So what you're gonna do is write what you love about your mom on each finger. So like, I'll be like, I love your hugs. And that's what will be on like the first finger. Also, you wanna draw hearts, stuff that's gonna look nice. And that's your homemade, do it your own Mother's Day gift your mom so if you want if you want more videos just subscribe and share the video share the video keep on going like. and make your mom happy I still think a student center cookie would be better anyway you know who else I appreciate teachers yeah do you think the reason why we appreciate teachers is because they help set us on the right path you're right, but you know what else I really appreciate about them? What would that be, Anna? I really like how passionate they are about sharing their knowledge with us. We went to the streets of Montverde to ask students what they appreciate about teachers and who reminds them of their mother. What's my name? Connor. And uh, what am I doing? 
crawling? That is correct. I'm Connor, and I'm back on the crawl. So, Will, who would you say is your favorite teacher? I got to say, my favorite Mr. teacher Carlo. would have to be our Mr. Arnaldo Carlo. Yeah. Now, what teacher would you say is the most motherly like? I think Miss Garland. I think Miss Presley. Now, what would you say you appreciate about your teachers? Well, they are very understanding. Thank you. Now, would you say there's any teachers at Montford that have a, a motherly characteristic, very warm, very uh, kind? Dr. A. Dr. A? Yeah. Who is your favorite teacher and what do you like most about them? Um, Miss Moyo because she deals with me. And what teacher do you think is the most motherly and why? Definitely Mrs. Walsworth. She always is really nice and um, she always says hi to me even though I'm not in her class. She makes me feel welcome. Now what teacher would you say is the most motherly and why? Um, I would say Mrs. Kessering because she always treats me like one of her own. It's nice to see what students appreciate about teachers. It really does warm my heart, Anna. Now let's head to sports this week with Garth and Esteban. What's up, Eagles? It's your boy, Garth. And it's your boy, Esteban Won, with the best sports around. This week, our girls' varsity softball team goes to the state championships at Vero Beach after winning their regionals here at home. Stay tuned for the results on mvasports.com. Congratulations to our slamming Eagles for making it this far. We're so proud of you. Hey Garth, why did the police officer go to a softball game? Why? Because someone stole second base. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Well, in other sports news, Kai Eisenhart won track and field regionals in the pole vault. She jumped 10 feet as a 7th grader. Pretty impressive. She will be moving on the state's competition. Good luck to our volleying eagle. Well. That's it for sports. Back to you, Keith. Wait, wait. What did the softball glove say to the ball? Catch ya later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Now, we all know what teachers do for us every day, but we thought it would be a great idea to actually show you. Let's go to Cam and Kelsey to find out some more ways to show how much we appreciate them. There are a number of good ways to show your gratitude and appreciation for your teachers. But there are also a number of things us students do that show ingratitude and lack of respect. It's important to shake your teacher's hand or at least give them a warm smile on the way out of class. Avoid keeping your head down and getting out of class as quickly as possible. Gifts are a nice way to show appreciation. Be sure not to bring unhealthy foods such as student center cookies to them. An apple might be better for a health conscious teacher. It might seem basic, but simply paying attention and putting effort in, in class shows a great deal of respect. Not caring and not listening is not appreciative of your teacher's hard work. Thanks for the great tips, guys. Now we have a couple of this mentions. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so remember to give a teacher a hug, put an app on their desk, or even a thank you card. This Saturday, there is going to be an SAT at 8 a.m. There will also be a TOEFL test this Saturday at 8.15. Well, that wraps it up for this MVA today. From all the students in TV studio broadcasting in the Stevens Media Art Building, I'm Keith Smith. And I'm Ana Valdez. Stay, Stay classy, classy, Eagles. Eagles.